Hello everybody, this is Ethereal from TurkerHub. In our last video, we went through and wrote a simple script that uh, selected all of the related radio buttons on the RNR 8 cent hits. And you can see it still works. I didn't do anything crazy while you were gone. I did mention a lot in that video uh, that you shouldn't run uh, your scripts just blindly on something like MTurk content or really any site like that. Uh, because it may be running on a script that, or it may be running on a hit that you don't know that it's running on. So if you have something that submits on a keystroke and you accidentally hit it and you don't know the script is running, it's just a bad day. So sanity checks basically uh, match the instructions of the hit to uh, text that you have saved in your script as a variable. And it uh, basically, if, if the instructions are different, the script will not run. So let's uh, get started and I think I already have that yep <laughs> so we're going to create a uh, variable we're calling it sanity and we're going to leave it blank for now because we don't know what text we really want here so we're just going to right click inspect and we're going to play around with the uh, HTML of the instructions here and we can see that we have a uh, div with a class of inner so we can get that and return its text but this is a lot of text uh, far far too much text to really put inside of a variable. I mean, I guess you could, but it'd be really annoying. So we want something small. Um, so one of these B elements, or maybe two, you can definitely do two, um, would be definitely preferable. Uh, so we're going to show you a little trick that I used a lot when I was learning, and you can do this directly in the console, but it is kind of nice to... Um, to have it in your in your script, uh, you're working on it anyways, and you're refreshing constantly trying to get it to run. So, might as well just put a console log in there. So, what this will do, any anything that's between the parentheses, uh, will print to um, excuse me, uh, will print to the console. Um, so, let's try that. So, when we refresh, this script will run, um, and console log will print hello Turger Hub to our console. So what we can also do with that is put something like this inside of those parentheses and it will print an object uh, which is what the dollar sign returns jQuery uh, of all of the uh, input buttons. So we're gonna actually play around with that. Uh, we know that we want one of these B elements um, and anything that's purple like that so div or B, we just put directly, or input, we can just put directly in our little um, jQuery wrapper. So jQuery um, B, and we're going to put dot text and like this. So this should return uh, all of the bold elements text, and it will be all of them because we're wrapping it in a jQuery object. So we're going to um, deal with that in a second, but I just wanted to show you what this will do. So We'll refresh and it should print a whole bunch of text down here. So we see related, unrelated, or only, and it seems like it's all jumbled together, like it put all of the bold things, and indeed, that's kind of exactly what it did, into one string. So we definitely could just use that as our um, uh, sanity check. But I wanted to teach you guys this too. Um, when you have something really generic, like we can put a class in here, that class inner div with a class of inner. Um, it's going to return more than one element. Uh, and if you have text at the end, it's going to return the text from more than one element. Uh, so a way around that, you're just going to type EQ. And you can Google that to get a more uh, detailed explanation. The way I think of it is there are lots of bold elements here. You can see B, 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 um, and EQ starting from zero, not one. So EQ is just saying the first one, or that would be the second one, or third, and so on and so on. So let's see if that works. We want to return the first bold elements text. Okay, we're going to refresh, and it should just be related. Um, and indeed, we see it down there that it is. So we know how to return text now, and we're just going to use this one. We could use... Oh, didn't want to do that. Um, we could use... The related, we could use that big string that jumbled them all together, but we're going to use this one right here. Okay, so we're going to make our sanity check equal to that. 
we're going to print the console log just in case um, and check it one more time to make sure that uh, this right here, I'm going to copy that, I was going to cut it, uh, returns a text that is equal to sanity. So that is the, I mean, that is the sanity check. You're measuring them against each other. So we're going to refresh. I think I saved, hopefully I saved. Unrelated or only indirectly related. And we notice that that's exactly what we want. That will return the same thing as sanity. So we're going to, uh, well, we won't get rid of it. We're going to write our conditional. Um, so if then bracket thingy and closey bracket thingy, and we copied that line of code. So if the first or second B's text is equal to our sanity, now I put sanity because that's the name of the variable, then uh, if that, then we're going to um, print to the console, we're going to print running because our script is running. Um, and then we're going to click all of the related radio buttons. And that's your sanity check. And this should work. Um, I realize I didn't like, you know, reveal it very well or anything, but I'm like 99.9% .9 it will work. And we see it does. So uh, just to make sure that I'm not doing anything wrong and it's running on its own regardless of that. Now what I've done is I've changed the uh, sanity check here so that uh, the script thinks or th right the script thinks that uh, the, the hit should have a ul at the end of that second bold uh, so we know it obviously doesn't this should prevent our script from running and uh, we don't see it down there we don't see any buttons clicked and that means we have a successful and working sanity check uh, that video kind of came out a little quicker than i thought it would um, so if I glossed over anything too quickly or uh, just totally um, confused you on something, contact me on Turker Hub, Ethereal. All right, guys, have a good one. Click, click, load.